Ho, ho, ho. Hey everybody, welcome back. So I had not planned on shooting a video today, but my wife went to grab some In-N-Out burger last night, spilled the ketchup in the car. So I thought, you know what, bing. I've been wanting to try Mirror Finish uh, Polish's uh, carpet shampoo. Prime time to do it. Can also show you guys that don't have an extractor. I do have one, it's a home unit. It's a Bissell, but I'm gonna use my shop vac, show you how I used to do it. I never had an extractor before. And the one I have is not professional grade. So I thought, man, perfect opportunity. So this is a low sudsing formula that Gino has. Mirror finish polishes carpet shampoo. And it mixes, it dilutes like 30 to one. So it shouldn't foam up too bad. Uh, and you should be able to stretch it. It has like a citrusy smell to me. Some people say it smells floral, but uh, to me it's kind of citrus. So I'm gonna show you guys the stain. Still wet right there. Hopefully you can see that. That's ketchup from last night. It's kind of gnarly, but anyway, I hope you can see that. Let's just get to it. I'm gonna show you guys what I would do. If I didn't have an extractor, and I do, but <clears throat> this is the quickest way for me to do it. Let's do it, here we go. sure which tip I'm going to use but I wanted to dilute this on the camera with you guys so you can see how little bit I use 30 to 1 I'm not going to measure I don't measure a lot of my chemicals rarely do I all right so empty bottle bottled water 16 ounce bottled water and this cleaner this shampoo can be used on um, Door panels and dashboards too, guys. Keep that in mind. General purpose cleaner, not just for uh, seats or carpet. All right. I hardly ever measure, so this is what I'm gonna do. If my calculations are right, it's gonna be like a half ounce, but I'm just gonna squeeze it maybe twice. One, two, that's probably overused right there. I'm gonna saturate the carpet with this stuff. There's the ketchup right there, so I'm gonna get that pretty heavy on there. Let me grab a brush. I didn't think ahead on that. All right. This is all I used to do before I bought a home style extractor. And I always use a lot of water. Follow this up, use a lot of water to rinse. I like it pretty wet. Then you're gonna use a damp towel, dry towel to mop. Let's go. water. Yes, I want it very wet. At least that's how I do it. So the wet dry back has something to suck up, right? lightly yes that's kind of lightly to me <clears throat> Add 
tape. Wet again. Especially in this area where the ketchup was. like it wasn't ground in so maybe this isn't an, a fair video but the ketchup was here still a little bit right there which I'll wipe off but the final process what I would do because this to me looks good already so what I would do then is get you a wet rag not sopping like this wring it out and you don't need costly products guys this is like 10 bucks at Gino's store. These are auto drive towels from Walmart, like five bucks for two. I love the size of these. They're actually great towels for something like this. And then just scrub your mat, follow back up with another one that's dry. Call this good. I need more uh, donuts because I need to be heavier to hold this down. <laughs> Can you see the dirt? See how dirty that is? So this isn't quite as good as an extractor, but this will definitely suffice for just about any level of detailer out there. This does work. Now I'm going to dry it. This isn't so much drying as it is going to be getting some of those wet particles off of the mat. gonna give it that finishing look right and then you can vacuum it put those stripes in it whatever you want to do some people like them some people don't then brush it vacuum it whatever you think it needs and there you go there's more dirt so actually I could do this probably two or three more times before it would actually look close to perfect but there you have it guys and that didn't take very long right you only know the ketchup was over here because I showed it to you. So anyway, there you go. Mirror finish polishes, carpet shampoo. I diluted it. I have no idea. Two squirts to 16 ounces of uh, bottled water. Wet towel, dry towel. Shop back. Plain water in your bottle to keep it wet. Give it something to extract. It's kind of a rinsing method too with that water. So that's it, guys. I'm glad I had this opportunity. So Tiff... Thank you for spilling the ketchup, babe. Love you. Take care, guys. See you next time.